Hey guys, welcome back to another Blender video editing tutorial looking at Blender 2.8 and how to edit video in the new version of Blender. Um, this episode, we are we have progressed pretty far. We're looking at how to export video now. You've learned how to cut video, or import video, cut video, and uh, how to set up proxy files. But now we're going to look at how to export that video because that's the, the real thing you want to get to anyway. So let's look at that right now. Okay, so I have a video imported, proxies are set up, everything's ready to go. Uh, the main thing we're going to be looking at is over here in this uh, panel over here, which is your properties panel. Uh, if you can see, you can switch these panels around, but this is the properties panel. Okay, so when you imported your video, it should have set the resolution right away anyway. Now, your percentage might be different. You want to make sure that's set to 100%, and obviously you want to make sure the resolution is set to what you want. Um, video imported was 1920 by 1080 so you want the export to be the same size you can also reduce it to 1280 by 720 if you want a lower resolution aspect ratio should be set already one to one which is what you want and then your frame start frame end should match up what you have down here in the right um, and encompass all of your frames that you want to export your frames per uh, second should be set to your original video uh, that automatically should have taken place when you imported your file if not make sure you set it to your video file um, time remapping we're not going to look at post processing we're not going to look at output we will um, this is where the file will export to or render to um, if you want to change it you click on the folder beside it open it up and you can choose your destination we always do desktop because it's just easier and quicker to find it then rename it whatever you want in this case it's going to be the barrel stove <coughs> sorry barrel stove video and then you just hit accept once accept twice and then that uh, destination is set overwrite should be checked file extension should be checked but they should automatically be checked uh, your file format the best I found is the FFmpeg video that seems to do best AVI raw and AVI JPEG are very large and not recommended so you click that and then click RGB. I do, I don't know if it makes a difference, but it seems to help. Your container should be MPEG-4. You can do QuickTime and uh, AVI, but again, those will be uh, quite large. QuickTime, maybe not as much, but MPEG-4 is the way to go. Uh, auto splitting is not usually recommended. Your video codec, right here under the video section. If you're doing HD video, it should obviously be uh, H.264. But you could also do MPEG-4. Again, that'll make a really wonky file, and it's not as easy to work with. So H.264 is the best way to go. Now, here's where you can have your own preferences on things. Um, output quality, I usually pick high quality. You can pick medium quality, and there's not really a large difference in the outcome of the file. But, you know, just trying to get the best video out, pick high quality. Real time will be the quickest uh, encoding method, encoding speed. Uh, good it just slows it down a little bit but it doesn't make a huge difference your keyframe intervals it's usually recommended this is called your GOP size um, which is gaps of photos I think or gap in between photos or something I can't remember exactly what it stands for but anyway it should be a roughly half of what your um, frames per second was so our frames per second are 24 um, that would be what 12 so 18 is pretty close so that's not bad at all. Um, one more important thing to do if you're exporting video that has audio, whether it be music or your voiceover, it's important to set the audio codec. I have found the MP3 codec not very good in Blender for some reason. Sometimes it's fine, sometimes it comes out really weird, but so far the AAC codec seems to be the best. And then your bit rate, uh, 192 is uh, sufficient, but you can go higher if you'd like. So that's pretty much it as, get, as far as getting everything set. I do want to point out that once you have these set, if this is the kind of video you're going to be doing consistently, or the kind of settings you're going to have, it's really a good idea, once you export this video, to go over to File, and then save your startup file. Because if all you're using Blender for is to uh, edit video and render video, then if you save your startup file, every time you open Blender, to edit video these settings will always be here ready to go your window layout will be the same your timeline will be set the same and it's just quicker and easier you don't have to do as much setup 
Um, after you export the video is a good time to save the startup file because you can delete all the video in it. And then if you save the startup file, when you open it, it won't open it with these video files. So now to render, you just go up to render, click render, render animation, and then it'll pop open a new window, uh, which you probably can't see on here, but you can see the progress uh, down here. But it will pop up a new window showing the actual progress of it frame by frame, which really doesn't matter. But your sequence render down here shows you a progress bar um, and gives you a rough idea how long it's going to take to export the video, which again, I have a, I have eight gigabytes of RAM, so 46 minutes to export a two minute and 20 second video. Not great, but you know, it's going to be a high quality render and everything will come out very nice in the end. So I had to stop the render because it was slowing down the system so I can uh, finish up this video. Uh, but I hope that helps you figure out how to export. If you have any questions or comments, you can let us know in the comment section below. And I hope you'll come back for the next episode uh, when we look at uh, crossfades. We'll look at how to uh, overlap files and fade them in and out to each other. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.